Welcome to the Fort Johnson podcast, where we highlight the heart of our community with the stories that matter most. Today in the limelight are those who have been standing strong, guarding Fort Johnson, and keeping us safe and sound, the security guards in our community. This time, we celebrate Security Guard Appreciation Week with special guests from the Department of Security Guards and talk about what it means to serve in this critical role. Some of the exciting job opportunities that are available in the department, including how to apply to be part of this team of professionals, will also be discussed. So let's get started. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever you are watching our program. I am Jeff England from the Fort Johnson Public Affairs Office, and this is the Fort Johnson Podcast. Today with me, I've got two wonderful uh, security officers with us, and I do call them officers because that's more of a, that's there's more training when you're an officer. See, a security guard, you just, uh, but anyway. Anyway, with us, we've got uh, Julio Garcia Ortiz. He's a corporal with the, uh, the Physical Security Department of Fort Johnson. Johnson and uh, Colton Lee. Uh, he is a, uh, he's, I like to, I like to call him like a transfer student. He's, he's almost like a paid intern, uh, but he's actually uh, active duty, uh, but is currently working in a position for the uh, security guards. Hey guys, how's it going? Hi sir, thank you for having us here. And uh, so uh, how does it feel to be out of uh, out of uh, your your MOS and into a new style of uh, job. Yeah, my comfort zone. What yeah, used to. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> it's definitely different. To culture shock, that's for sure. Wearing a different uniform, it's definitely different for sure. So, what made you want to uh, what made you want to become a security guard? Uh, yeah, so uh, it all started. Uh, <clears throat> I'm uh, infantry two thirty BCO. Shout out to the uh, brawlers, but um, I was a sergeant of the soldiers, so uh, SOG, call it sergeant of the guard. Yeah, so I would talk to the security guards that I was working with and asking them everything, what they do, everything like that, and piqued my interest. So I figured, why not? So yeah. Sweet. So the uh, so you just were able to say, you know what, uh, boss, colonel. Commander, yeah. Uh, let me let me go play. Let me go play with the uh, the the physical security guys over here, and uh, and you guys go ahead and take care of the rough stuff. Is that it, that's pretty much what I got, right? Uh, I guess so. <laughs> it's something along those lines. Yeah. You know? No, I'm sure that's like it, it must be. You must have a really uh, great unit over there to be able to uh, allow you to have some time away from work just as to help and uh, support the uh, the security guards and during during security guard appreciation week too that's pretty awesome oh yeah most definitely uh I, my leadership back at my uh my unit they've always helped me if i needed anything and they've been supportive uh same with chief cage helping me with my process and everything like that now is it normal for if the uh because i see the soldiers out there also in addition to uh the civilians now is it normal for um for the different units on on post to pull uh, shift duty on the gates. Yeah, do you know? Uh, is it or is it for uh, MPs and stuff? No, oh, I I, oh, I always get one. I always get one little question in there that we that I can stump people on. Uh, we'll we'll get back to that one, but that's okay. <laughs> but no, I do see I do see the uh, soldiers out there, and they're they're probably MPs mostly. That's. Uh, Running the the oh what are you talking about the on the, the gates. soldiers yeah no they're just uh, no, regular they're, soldiers they're from different units. Oh. Yeah. yeah so from oh so they are so it is everybody out there pulling their pulling yes. their weight yeah they're kind of like a, pulling KP duty pretty yeah much. pretty much yeah back in the day it was back in the day it was KP because we didn't have defect duty back then <laughs> yeah I know what KP duty is I've been a long time or two yeah but you didn't have to pull KP duty in basic training during Mexican Food Day. No. Yeah, no, yeah, that, that, no. That sounds no. rough. Yeah. Yeah, you don't want to do that. Try <laughs> try scrubbing those enchiladas off the pan. Though that was hard. <laughs> and I and I didn't get the to work on the 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 line where I just got to serve and no, I had to wash all the dishes. <laughs> so. Yeah, that's uh Yes. Yeah, sometimes yeah. it's fun. And uh hey Julio, what uh, so how long you been working at the uh at Fort Johnson as a security guard? 
for, since November 6th of last year, 2023. Uh, I've been working with them since November 6th. Uh, the hiring process, it was supposed to be a little bit quicker, but it wasn't. It is what it is. It's just Yeah, the, it. the government, it, it takes, you know, they have to go through a lot of paperwork yes. and you have to get everything just right, make sure that everything is just perfect. So sometimes uh, it, it sometimes is very uh, well planned out to get these things, but it just takes time to push everything through. So I'm glad you were able to stick through the time and, yes. and get in there. You, you think it was worth it, right? Yes, it was, most definitely. So uh, you've been here for about a year, you said? Almost a year, almost a year, 10 months. Oh, that's cool. And how do you like it so far? It's amazing. It's an amazing experience. It's, that's... it's just a, a stepping stone, pretty much, just to get my feet wet into the GS system, just to move around to different other positions whenever they do open up. So yeah. yeah, and you know, the whole world is is open for you too because yes. it's not just it, Fort it, Johnson's not, not the Fort only Johnson, place. There's opportunities all around the globe for the uh, security guard uh, positions. Yeah, that's it. Just I enjoyed my time as a security officer, uh, but you know, I worked uh, I worked at the Back to the Future Mall, so I was more like Paul Blart before before the cool segues and. <laughs> but, <laughs> I wish we had segways. <laughs> that would be cool. I sat. Yeah. I saw some uh, uh, at one time. The police department over there was uh, testing out these uh, stand-up trikes. It was like it was. It was pretty cool. They had like little the little flasher lights and everything. It was pretty cool. But I guess they went away with or they didn't go with it. Uh, it's just fun stuff. <laughs> so uh, other than other than uh, working is work. I know working the gate is the main position. Is it the only position? Uh, I know you guys have positions back at the office where you have to pull other duties and stuff. But what about? Uh, events and stuff like that do you still help out with around the installation like uh, freedom fest or yeah or we do things security like for freedom fest we also do security for halloween events different type of events whatever the garrison commander needs us that's where we're going to be at just helping aiding pretty much well that sounds that, i mean at least you get you get off that gate and you yes. get out and you get to meet people i'm sure you meet a lot of people especially day, going through the gate every day thousands and thousands <laughs> it's like I, I, most of most of them are recognizing me as i go through it's like hey oh yeah it's you again great just give me your id <laughs> <laughs> but uh what what kind of training is involved in i mean you guys have to be going through training all the time we have a pat which is a physical assessment test that is com uh we got a mile and a half run in 17 minutes and 30 seconds and two minutes to do 19 push-ups. It doesn't seem a lot for prior military, but for those that were not not prior, prior military, it might be a mouthful, to be honest. And same with we have to train with M17s, qualify with our M17s, and that's pretty much it when it comes down to our training. So is the M17 like one more than the M16? Oh, it's definitely <laughs> way better. Yeah. <laughs> so, is the M17? That's the pistol, right? That's the pistol. Yeah, so, so, it's yeah. like, is that a Colt? Yeah, I get it. No, Colt, no, Colton. No. Uh, no, no. <laughs> funny guy. I am. I'm a funny guy. <laughs> so, uh, it's the it's a pistol. What kind of pistol is it? Six Sauer. A Six Sauer M17. Oh, nice. And how often? Uh, how often do you guys have to? I mean, it's it's at least yearly. I'm. Uh, or is it? Do you guys have to go all the time? Twice a year. Twice a year. Dang, that's cool. And uh, the the I'm sure there's other. I know for a fact there's other training that that's involved. That's a little less uh, less um, pleasant than going out to the range and stuff. Uh, I've heard about OC, which is um, oil capsicum oleo capsicum or uh or pepper spray <laughs> yeah yeah I, I hear that's i hear that you guys is favorite yeah no, no, that's not, <laughs> no. i do not want to relive that no me no. neither but it does make you it does make you think twice about the poor people that get sprayed oh, yeah. Most definitely. And, and it's usually yeah. because of their own decisions and own own choices <laughs> And also, uh, you get to have have people ride the lightning and the the taser and stuff. The X twenty six taser, yes, sir. Yeah, so that's uh, so that sounds like fun. And and um, so, in order for you to know once again how the how the suspect will feel if you deploy the the taser, you have to go through it too, right? Yeah, we have to take a class. Yes. So you f you feel the electricity in the air. Yes. <laughs> 
<laughs> this is all kinds of fun. I, you know, I should come over there and, and just get some video of, of getting the, getting the shock. How, uh, and I don't need to get into like specifics about a lot of stuff because, you know, the front gate or all the gates are, um, secured areas. And, uh, from, you know, my position over here with public affairs, we know there are certain things that you're not allowed to do, like take pictures of the gate. So please stop with this stupid taking pictures of the gate. You, people out on the Internet, I know you who you are. <laughs> yeah. they, they, it's like, what are they doing? It's like, we're trying to do our job. Stop, stop doing your little videos and stuff. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so how many gates we have? We, you know, when I first got here, they were just putting up the gates. Uh, around here. This was back in 2005. So it wasn't too long after 2001. And so they were just getting the gates completed. And before that, we had an open, uh, open base, which means no gates whatsoever, which is to Air Force people are is just unheard of. It's like, what do you mean? You could just drive around on post? Yeah. yeah. And then, um, but, uh, but when we first opened up, we had gates all the way around the installation. And since then, we've closed some because of not a lot of traffic, and there's just not enough manning and enough money and power to, to keep all these gates open because it takes a lot. And so we've had to close down. So how many gates do we have that people can actually go through now and people use? Because I know the one, I know the one back and on the opposite side of the road or the other end of Entrance Road, you go through the main gate. At one time, you were able to go through the main gate and go out the back gate, but not anymore. That one's closed. Yeah, so we have five um, actual open gates that are manned. Um, sorry, daily, pretty much. Uh, closed, uh, we have side gates and things like that, but that is just for other means of transportation just to get emergencies and exactly stuff, yeah. um but mains like 24 7 will be uh acp1 and acp7 those will be our main gates that are commercial the alligator lake that's what they call it yeah them. that one is going to be 24 7 but that's only commercial yeah you can anybody can cruise through there anybody can go in and out it's, but it's just more for commercial than anything else acp1 is going to be your our bread and butter everybody comes in and out that gate. well that's where the that's where the the visitor center is so yes. if you can't if you don't have the the id or the the proper vetting to get on post go into the visitor center yes and i take it you guys work in there too or you have some people from your office working in there yes we do awesome and you just go in there get your pass and uh come on post and and uh Go to Freedom Fest or, well, I, I guess it's not Freedom Fest anymore. I'm just old school. <laughs> but uh, that's where contractors and, and, you know, workers and stuff can come on. But Families do. Just families to get a pass whenever uh, they're here visiting uh, their fellow soldiers. So, yeah. So the I main mean, gate. If you also, it takes you through Gate 7, the Alligator Lake Gate, you can also go get a pass from gate seven as well oh wow yeah. i did not know that yeah, yeah i usually just uh, tell everyone go to the the front gate because it's yeah. well, first it's easier the easiest access. to get yeah, there easier access. Yeah. <laughs> the uh so we have we have the two 24-hour gates so they're open all the time and i see the big rigs coming down uh entrance road and trying to get in on through the main gate and they always get turned yeah. around there's a big old stop all the traffic and turn around uh but yeah those i've seen the inspection that you have to drive through an inspection thing up there where it scans the truck and all that stuff that's it's that's pretty impressive stuff and uh the other things that i've noticed um you never know you never know who's going to get uh, inspected because it's all random and uh, it's that's how you keep people on their toes. Uh, so are you guys involved or does it take an MP or a police officer to do the, the random inspections? Any, all of you guys are uh, trained yeah. to do it? Yeah. Yes, sir. Any so, of us can do it. It's not really an well, MP job. Well, I, you know, it's like I've seen I've seen those those inspections and they're. I see people getting caught with the stuff, you know, you're not supposed to bring that. Nope. Nope. You're not supposed to do that. Stop taking pictures of me. No, yeah. <laughs> I'm just yeah, it's, yeah. it's a federal installation. So it's, it's stricter rules coming in and out. So yeah, that's, that's mainly our thing. It's more of an anti-terrorism thing. So yeah. 
yeah, we don't want, we don't need any of that stuff. <laughs> the uh, so we have uh, the other, we have the other gates, and they're not open twenty four hours, and that's mainly for um, like business hours and stuff like that. Yeah, those those hours vary, so it varies from uh, the ACP to ACP. So I, right now, I don't have the correct information to give you hours, but um, I can get with my. Um, Cheap well, you can always my, yeah yeah you can always check on the the website and the website usually tells you what the hours are and if there is a closing uh Facebook and and uh, the website will update hours and stuff like that. And we have a new we have a new app coming out. Uh, my my app or my military my army post application is coming out soon, and uh, we'll be able to update. I also think this. that the guide on app, right? Yeah, the guide, the guide on, on app, app yep. tells you the times of the uh, different ACPs. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, they can also give you the directions to get there. It's a lot easier than using Google Maps or Apple Maps. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. absolutely. The uh, so um, how did you go about? Well, now that we know how to get on post, <laughs> how did you go about uh, getting your jobs? I mean, uh, yeah, I, both of you are different positions as in how you went about getting them. Uh, I know you weren't, uh, I know you're former Air Force, so yes. you didn't You didn't just say, hey. No, uh, I, I didn't use the skill bridge because for us in the Air Force, it's called skill bridge. That's the program to uh, become a security guard uh, or any other uh, job federal-wise. Um, but no, what I did was I went to USA Jobs. I put the um, series, the series, which is for us security guards, it's 0085. And... It tells you all the positions that are open up, not just in Fort Johnson, but in the world. And now what I heard that they're doing is that they're bundling up all the announcements for the security guards or any other position. So instead of just applying to one specific area, you can choose and check boxes to different installations. So that way, if you want to be in Fort Drum, then you can select Fort Drum and it'll submit straight to Fort Drum. Oh, nice. Yes, sir. I did not know that part. I did look up. I, I was on uh, the website uh, the other night, or like last night, and I, I punched in the uh, 0085. You're right. And it's not just the Army. I saw Navy. Yeah, I saw Navy, there's IRS. Navy Force, there's, there's different installations, different entities. So, yes. But it's all the same series. So, yes. yeah. So, that was, it's pretty cool. You can you can work worldwide. I the, the problem that I saw was I didn't see any of the places I wanted to go, like Hawaii, Vegas, you know. Yeah, um, those, those places are not going to be <laughs> as common because it is everybody wants to be in those places. So, yes. It's kind of like our dream sheets. Pretty much. <laughs> yep. Fella, I want to go here, 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 here. And you never go there. Nope. nope. No. Never. <laughs> so how did you, uh, Colton, how did you uh, go about uh, going about, what What did you say it was? It was uh, the Skill Bridge program. Skill Bridge. Yes. Skill Bridge. How did you go about doing that? How did you hear about it first? Oh, yeah. So um, it's part of your uh, transition program. Uh, it's called TAPS. Oh, yeah. So it's uh, part of your, one of your briefs that you have to go to, and it's uh, led by Mr. Whitehead. Uh, you can find them at uh, the Education Center. That's pretty much where you have to do all your briefs and everything like that. And uh, I'm the very first person to do the internship through security guards because before I tried to um, talk to Chief, and he was like, yeah, we're working on it right now. So but then it finally went through, and I was the first one. Don't you feel special? Oh, yeah, yeah. Most definitely. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't think you're going to be the last either. No, no, no. So, so you went over there, you applied, and how long did it, how long from beginning to end did it take? Or did you have to go through any uh, briefings explaining, um, explaining what the program was and are the the other positions and all that stuff? Or how from the time that you learned about it to the time that you were able to get it, uh, did did it take a long time? Uh, no, the process is uh, fairly quick. Uh, it's you get first. You have to get an acceptance letter from uh, the job that you want to work for. Then you take all your paperwork to Mr. Whitehead, and he sends it up to the CG. It takes about two weeks. Oh, so, that's not bad. No. No, and now and now you're set up for when you decide to separate. You could continue working uh, for the government. You got that. Uh, some of the benefits. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure you guys are looking at the benefits, going like, I like that. <laughs> it's like, uh, what are some of the benefits that you you get as a, a, a security guard? Well, we get to shop first and foremost at the commissary, which is tax free with everything that's going on. Every the prices of groceries being that high, you get that advantage over anything else. 
Um, Definitely better than shoveling at Walmart. Yes, those yeah, prices. agreed. Uh, and the parking's better. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Extensive parking, yes. <laughs> um, other benefits are shopping at the exchange. Like I said, another tax-free benefit that we get. Um, easy the- access to the installation. We can um, stay in the installation as well, just rent. Oh yeah, you can yeah. live. You could yeah, live on can. post yep. with Corvius. Yes, mm-hmm. sir. Nice. That's right. And get some. You're you're close by. You don't have to spend a lot on gas. And and you've got gas stations right here also. So you got right. the shopettes. So and don't forget all of your um uh to to stick with it and make this a career. You've got uh your retirement plans and uh, your vetting and all that stuff. That's pretty nice. <laughs> I'm excited about this stuff. It's like, I know I've known several people that have gone from active duty uh, into into the uh, the security guard career field. As a matter of fact, the uh, the the chief that you had is uh, or have or have had is uh, is uh, <laughs> former former uh, what is it, a master sergeant? Yeah, so master sergeant, acting command sergeant major, and you know he just acted like that. He it wasn't much of a he he did all that and you know yelled at me and stuff but like a some command sergeant major did but then and then then he leaves and now he's working now he's back just like you but no you never left so you you're here and now you're here yep so you're here and here <laughs> he stayed all the way <laughs> absolutely so what are some of the fun stuff that uh that what's the most favorite part of um your job that you've you've come across so far I, especially for Colton he's brand new to the job. Just the interaction, so. interaction with different people, pretty much different backgrounds. That's that's pretty much it for me because I, I wasn't used to just being out there. I was shy most of the time. So now being out there talking to everybody, it's just an experience, a good experience too. So, yeah. Yeah. I'm sure you get to learn all about who's a morning person, who isn't. Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Definitely. We see that every time. We can't really get into that. But. Yeah. <laughs> so have, have you seen uh, or... What about you, Colton? What's your what's your favorite part of the job? Um, I guess dealing with people because I don't I don't really deal with people being in the army like I do, uh, working for the security guards and I guess human interaction. I would imagine that you know being a security guard is a little different than being in the infantry. Uh, kind of opposite uh, outcomes of doing your job properly. Oh yeah, it's definitely a big difference. <laughs> big difference. Big difference. <laughs> So uh, any of the um, so what is the, the the toughest part of your job that you've found doing so far? Uh, I mean, I know everyone's got hard things to do. Uh, so what's some of the toughest other than, you know, I could I can name like the t- hardest the for two me things. is the hardest for me is and it's probably going to be normal for everybody. It's just the elements, just being out there in the elements. Oh, yeah. Training, yeah. whether it's a tornado warning or hurricanes, et cetera. Et cetera. It's just especially that. around here with that heat. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I'd, I'd have to say for me is uh, working 13 hours. Hey, man, that's I, that. I mean, I've done 24 hour staff duty and CQ shifts, but working 13 hours for three days in a row, it's, it's kind of tough. See, that's that's what I was really surprised to hear is that your shifts are it's like 12 hour shifts. But, you, you know, you get that hour transfer, um, 13 hour shifts. It's it's almost like uh your hours that you work are, you know, 12, 13 hour shifts, but you're not working uh, five days every single week. Um, you have the seven days no, and we're seven days. Well, alternating pretty much different teams, alternating times, different days, weekends. So that's pretty much what it's all comprised of. It's just two different teams working, but we're always there at the gates, just manning it. Oh, absolutely. As, much as we can. Yeah, it's it's not a good thing. The only time I've seen uh, nobody manning the gate is when it was locked up and tight. <laughs> it's just like no one's getting through this one. <laughs> Got those barriers up. And have you had to deploy the barriers yet? Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm sure you guys get practice, and or yeah. you have to. You I have mean, to test practice, yeah, yeah. For training for practice, wise, yes. yeah. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> those, do I mean, I'm I've always been afraid to drive over those things while they're coming up. <laughs> it's like, especially if you are on a motorcycle or something. It's like da 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 da. But anyway, so you got you don't really work the full. Uh, 52 weeks a year is what I was trying to say. It's, so you were, you're more 26. like 26 yep. weeks a year, but you're still getting the, the full-time the full time pay. That's, that's 
enough right there. I mean, you can you can actually make plans and stuff around that. And then all and it's not just even the straight hours either, because you've also got uh, the overtime, uh, which is uh, very helpful <laughs> when you especially when uh, around bill bill collecting season. Yeah. Trying to just help out where we can. Uh, it's not mandatory. It's more of a if there's a guard that calls out because the X, Y or Z, we're there to aid and assist pretty much. Yeah, I mean it. It has to be. It has to be a team effort. Yes. Uh, when when you're working 24 hours all the time, so yeah, I mean you guys, you must you must um, really build up a camaraderie in there. So it's more it's more than just a job or a career for people. It's you're you're developing it's, relations it's a family. It's with, supposed to be. we we take care of each other. We're supposed to have each other's backs no matter what. So yeah, it's it's more than just a team. It's a family on both sides. So. So do you see a lot of people uh, come in and say, oh, this is a great job. I, I love it. You see a lot of people uh, or uh, most of the people come in and say, yep, yeah. we're here. Yeah. So, well, we got we got uh, Colton that says, you know what? I like it so much. I want to get into it. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Well, there you go. So uh, once again, we get the uh, we get usajobs.gov, not com. usajobs.gov. And your series is a, a 0085. Yes. And uh, you could work worldwide because everybody's got security guards. Yeah, and like I said, they're bundling everything, all the announcements now, so it's not just going to be for Fort Johnson only. It'll be for Fort Johnson and all the other installations that allow security guards to be part of their installation. So, yeah, you can <laughs> click and choose whichever installation you want to apply to, and you can most definitely do that, and it'll send your resume, send everything to those installations. So that was, I mean, so you, when you applied, uh, did it take a long time to get from beginning to end? I mean, do, it takes, I'm it sure takes it takes time. time. It's just paperwork. It's normal paperwork, so it takes time. It was a long time, but it was worth it yes. at the end. It was definitely worth it. Absolutely. So if, if you're, if you are interested and you do apply for this job and you don't hear back uh, immediately, I mean, there's, there's, it takes, it, it takes time to get all your paperwork straightened out, but it's, it's, it's well worth it. And I mean, people are lining up. Uh, it's like, a, we're not even out of the, the, the army yet. And we're, we're working on getting in the job. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> So if I was to say anything, if you had anything to say to uh, those that are uh, out there that that you see on a daily basis, what would what would make your day, especially on uh, Security Guard Appreciation Week? Uh, what would just what would catch you off guard? What 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 is that one thing that somebody coming through the gate or somebody that just sees you out someplace? What would just catch you off guard in in uh, yeah, and just make your day if they were to, to just a tell simple you. thank you. Just a simple thank you. That's it for everything that we sacrifice pretty much being out there day in, day out. So just a simple thank you goes a long way. So. Oh yeah. And it, it's absolutely worth it too. I mean, you guys are you guys are doing a great job. And I appreciate mm -hmm. you guys out there. I appreciate not having to worry about uh anything and I appreciate the uh not being chosen for the uh for the inspection plan. <laughs> <laughs> But I, you know, I go through, I've been through it so many times. It's like, yep, yep. Open this, 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 this. Here you go. <laughs> it's like clockwork. <laughs> it was funny. I, I got called, I got called for, um, or called for one of the uh, inspections. So I moved over to the proper lane. By the time he was able to walk up to the, the window, I had everything ready and go to go for me. <laughs> they just look at me. It's like, been through this before, have you? <laughs> yep. Well, it definitely makes the process go yeah. by quick. Oh, yeah. It, definitely. it went by pretty quick, but it's like, yeah, well worth it. Well worth it. You guys are doing a great job and I do appreciate you. Thank you. And thank, thank you, you very much for uh, for your service and, and, and the jobs that you're doing and sticking with the Army and sticking with uh, Fort John. Johnson. Yes, I appreciate it. Colton, Julio, yep. uh, great job. Great job. And I'm glad you were able to come in and, uh, and talk with me yes, and sir. talk with everybody Thank you for having us and here. talk yep. with everybody Thank else. You. Uh, and hopefully we'll be able to have you back here again soon. Yes, sir. Yes, All sir. right. Well, if you've uh, enjoyed our podcast, please leave a comment below. Let them know. I mean, I'm sure they'll be uh, they'll they have access to the the uh, the podcast also. So be sure to leave a comment. Hey, give them a thanks online. They'll and then we have written proof that you thanked them. 
<laughs> uh, but anyway, uh, please leave a comment, leave a like, uh, be sure to subscribe to our channel, and uh, we will be listening at you and watching at you later. That was easy.